What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is the 6th of March, Monday morning, quarter after five in the morning. We are looking at Casper cryptocurrency after the weekend here. Start this Monday off. We just put out an XRP video. Going to jump into a Casper video here. Guys, welcome. Appreciate all of these subs. If you are not yet subscribed, consider doing so. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know your thoughts on the market down in the video comments. Taking a look at Bitcoin real quick, guys. Bitcoin basically flat, so that is better than tanking, but also not up too much. Casper is up 0.74%. It's one of few cryptos that are green on my screen. Everything seems a little bit quiet this morning. Let's take a look here at the chart and see what's going on. So we had a wild couple days. The date here, which was the Friday, the 3rd of March, was a awesome day. We haven't seen a day like that for Casper in a while. The 28th was actually a pretty nice day, a 7.79. So that was close. But what I'm saying is we had a big breakout on Friday up above our 415 range, guys. We've been talking about that for a while. That was resistance, strong resistance. Once again, it's resistance, but we'll get to that. But anyways, we had a break above 415, a break above 435, a strong close, testing the highs over here from the 7th and 8th of February. We had a pretty volatile day on, I guess this would have been... Let's see, Saturday the 4th, that was down 9.8, 9.53%. Basically wiping away most of the gains from Friday. Guys, I mention these levels not because I want to, but because they are important and they hold some weight. So above the market, we have 466, which would have been resistance as the price approaches it as the price moves higher the upper levels are either targets or they are targets and they also can act as a resistance level what took place on saturday's candle we hit a, hit a high of 466 and where was my level at 466 go back and watch the um older casper videos not too old <clears throat> excuse me, a couple days back and you'll see that 466 was there and we spoke about that being a potential area of a potential road roadblock for Casper as it approaches that. So that's what took place there. So that's current resistance. We did break the highs over here, but so far broke the highs and I've pulled back below that. We are also back below one four thirty five two four fifteen and guys coincidentally we are flirting back with our call it a 45 degree line a support line things are getting a little messy and have been getting a little messy around here and what i mean by that is we had a break below it on basically the 22nd of february for a couple days there finally we got back up it got back above it i should say had the breakout, pulled back, and now we are flirting once again. Let me clean up this chart with that level. So we basically, these two candles, which would have been uh, Sunday and then today, Monday, pretty identical candles. But once again, guys, look what's going on. We are finding resistance again at 415. And we're also flirting right on our, it's not perfect, our 45 degree Call it a support line. The head and shoulders it continues to get more messy. But basically, the point is, the longer that the price can't get above and stay above the 415 for this example, because you could see it's been it's been a challenge for a while for this for this price level. I mean, going back to we'll call it the 18th of January. We're in March now. The price can't hold above 415. It gets above, and then the market pushes it back down. 
gets above, market pushes it back down. So my concern is, and I'm not rooting for one side or the other by any means, my concern is that if the the longer the price bumps its head, bumps its head, and bumps its head on this, and can't get above, I am thinking that we see a sharp move down. Now, maybe that sharp move down is quickly bought back up and we rally. Maybe that's what it takes. Maybe it takes a shakeout that gets bought, that gets purchased, gets bought, and then we get a rally higher and can finally get above 415. Eventually, we will get above that and it will hold, but it's bumping its head, it's bumping its head, and I just think there's a potential for a break a strong break to the downside. One, based on that. Two, based on this oddly looking head and shoulders topping pattern here with this support line that has been proven to hold a couple times here, as you can see. And we're kind of whipsawing back and forth through it. So it's definitely a tough market here. On the flip side of that, if we get a strong break to the downside, everybody who wants to buy more will obviously be able to do so at better prices. Also, we're we're in the upper end. Actually, we're more like in the middle here of the RSI. Said it before, don't put too much weight on this. Unless the markets get extremely oversold, I think it's a better indicator in those extremes. Sometimes extremely overbought, but markets can grind higher for a while, but the extreme oversold, which we are obviously not down there, we're essentially in the center, slightly above that. So what's my takeaways here for Casper? Well, Bitcoin is trying to figure out whether it's going to rally back higher or continue its move to the downside. Let's take a look at Bitcoin real quick. Bitcoin is finding resistance at 225 we've been speaking at that speaking about that level back before the 24th of February it was actually probably back in here early February i believe it was anyways so it's it's wedged back higher it's finding resistance there like i said my fear is that we get that break to the downside, which could take us down to the 20,600 level. Potential support at 21,694. We found support there once, but we'll see. Like I'm not rooting for a lower Bitcoin. I would prefer a higher Bitcoin, actually. It would probably help the overall market and cryptos and stuff like that, but it needs to get its act together here. Otherwise, I see this wedge breaking to the downside. So getting back to Casper, let's close this up. If Bitcoin tumbles, you know, or heads lower, we should say, then I don't see Casper breaking out to the upside. If Bitcoin can get its act together, then obviously that'll help Casper. But who knows? We'll see. I'm just going to keep my eye on my levels below. And above the market for support, uh, support down here, resistance up here, and see what happens. This thing is definitely gave a good run here, but resistance came in very strong. A lot of supply up there um, at that 466 level from back in here, which was the 20 October time frame. And... So that is kind of my thoughts on Casper. Maybe we'll get a price drop and you'll get a better, uh, better deal at accumulating some more shares. But right now, there is some heavy resistance at 415, 435, 466. So personally, keeping an eye on Bitcoin. If Bitcoin does well, then you know it should carry over into the rest of the markets. Bitcoin doesn't do well, then I don't see some of these markets anyways doing too well. Besides the coins that kind of run on their own, you know, maybe after Bitcoin has rolled over. So that's kind of what I would think to expect here in, you know, either today or the days ahead 
for the crypto markets and as well as Casper. Don't forget though, guys, I'm not leaning for one side or the other. As you know, if you've been watching these videos, I have much higher targets for Casper, much, much higher, I should say. And then I also have crazy, crazy low support levels down below the market. So we'll see. I mean, we are we are marching higher here. You know, we we do have higher highs and higher lows. And we did print a higher high on the on Saturday the 4th. So we'll have to see if we print a lower high here and then the market rolls over into a lower low. Time will tell. Lots of resistance at 415. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you were not yet subscribed, go ahead and do so. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I'll catch you guys throughout the day, throughout the week, and let's see what happens here with the markets. All right. Take care.